Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Where we have WWE 2K24 Season 2, Week 24. We are on the Go Home Show to WrestleMania. Let's go! We got almost all our feuds set up for Level 4 feuds going into Mania. We got uh, people pissed off at us, which is normal. NFG, let's go! Uh, if you guys are just caught up, we just got our next uh, Hall of Fame badge, so... We managed to get up to fourth here, uh, or sorry, up to first. So now we're up to four badges. Sorry, that's what I was going with here. Uh, we are definitely behind 90,000 in fans to Raw, but theoretically, if the cards I put out were actually used here, we should be able to get catch up a fair bit. Uh, I would like, I, I do feel that I looked over some of the Hall of Fame cards or bonus cards that we're going to get. We might get screwed on one here. And I'll explain why when uh, we get into the booking here. But we are, uh, we like I said, we just have one more week to get through here. And then we're on to WrestleMania, which if you are watching on YouTube, we do record these live after AEW Dynamite and ADW Collision every Wednesday and Saturday over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. Yeah, so we got one show coming up, and our next show is going to be on Saturday, which is going to be WrestleMania. So let's do her to her. All right, so here's the one that I think we're going to get screwed on here. Surpass 600,000 in the bank. Select a contracted superstar on your brand to become a permanent superstar on your brand. If you use that card, the person has to sit out a week and none of these cards hold over till next season. So literally the only way I can use that card is if I find somebody I don't want to use on Mania, if I get that tonight, which there is a possibility. But let's take a look at the things we got to do. So we got to get a Cora Jade rematch against Becky Lynch within two weeks. We're going to fire that into Mania as part of a fatal four-way women's title match. Because, well, frankly, I got to get that done. And the other one is Ilya Dragomov, what's the triple threat or fatal four-way gets post below to Carmelo Hayes. We are going to do that, and we're going to set up our final feud with Seth Rollins here. But yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look where we're at. We're at 553 for money, so that's quite a bit. We got enough money to get some of this stuff, but we don't have enough assets, which is in the uh, top left there. You get an asset every week. We can't buy those. We can't get them extra. We have to use one next week for WrestleMania. So we got no choice on that one. So probably by the time the first PLE shows up in season three, we're going to be going to stadiums. And then in terms of Magic Roster... Let's take a look at our stamina here. Cora's got a lot. We'll, we'll get Penelope in here for a match. Maybe we'll work on this feud with Pretty Ruthless and Followed Headley. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do. So let's book this show here. So one match we have to do. Let's just put the matches in. We have to get done. And then we can put them in the order that we need them here. So Ilya... Where are you, dragging off? There you are. Try to find you everywhere, so we gotta get Carmel Hayes in there and Post Malone. So the little kid cur I'm gonna do here, Seth's going to go after Dragunov because he's just pissed at him. That's going to set up the backstage brawl at Mania. Okay, so that's booked. Technically, we did not book Rollins in a match, so therefore we still get our 
bonus card even though I don't think we need it. What is it? Oh! 30 ring XP, so maybe I could do something with that. We're definitely going to use all those up before we go, so. All right, so what else are we going to book here? Hmm. Huh. I think Ruthless and Hadley might be a good match up here. Let's throw up in a tables match, just for the hell of it. Henley's not very happy with me right now to begin with, so I might as well just give her something that'll cheer her up a little bit. Who else do we got going here? I'd love to put Lorenzo and uh, Argus together, but I don't know if... Like, the stamina's pretty rough on a few of these guys. We'll put Scarlet in there. Let's just give her a warm-up match right now anyway. Yeah, I won't do a run in. I'm not going to do a title match just because we don't want to. And what's our last one here? I'm going to see if we can change it up. That was really fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Boris. It was very, it was a fun night of wrestling too. So I am very glad you enjoyed it. Uh, for those that don't know here, uh, Big Bad Boris here was doing his first ever uh, sidecast for AEW as well tonight over on the Love Wrestling Twitch channel. So. Yeah, we were having a blast over here. Talk. What'd you think about the uh, MVP debut? Personally, I enjoyed it a lot myself. How bad is Billy? Our stamina is a little rough here at this point here, so that's why I'm just trying to be careful here. Let's get the tag champs to work. Nothing crazy, just a regular match here, but let's see what we got for faces here. We don't have much left. Oy. You know what? We got we got a little bit of cash. Let's uh The thing about Stacks is he doesn't have a lot of stamina. You know what? That actually might not be a bad idea. Yeah, because no, Stax only has 28. I don't want to risk it. So what we'll do is we'll bring somebody in just for tonight, just to get us through here. Who does... Dom's a cruiser, and Baron is a... Barrett, you sucked at your popularity so far, Bruiser, so. You know what? Let's bring in a fighter. We don't need him for two weeks. We just need him for... You know what? Two weeks just for the hell of it. It's 5,000. We've had Heath around before, so it's not that bad.
Actually, I think I might do jobber number two here just to be safe. I, I'd rather do Pro Bowls with those guys. Ah, there we go. Good old Triton. Let's go. And then the two new guys, Heath Montana and Triton. No titles, just getting them some work. So what... If what match, which order should we go in here for these four? I'm thinking the opener, this one's got to be on one end. And I'm almost thinking that this one might be the other one. So maybe something like this. Hey, Masquite. Yeah, that was a hell of a dynamite tonight. Lot, a lot of jab packed, a lot of surprises, a lot of good things going over. Glad to see you here, by the way. Always a pleasure. So yeah, I think we're gonna do this as the main. We'll do that in there. Is there any other callouts that we have to do here? Let's get that rivalry as high as we can right now. Just want to see if there's any more callouts we have to do. They're all level fours. We're all lined up with level four rivalries, so. Baby. Women's tag call up. I don't know if we're going to get anything out of it, but why not? We haven't done one of those in a while. I'd almost put. Reside Matador. Unfortunately, he's not available right now. Yeah, it's either a 2-2 two, two or a 2-1, I think. So, yeah. Either way, let's try it. We haven't done a tag call out for a while, so... Yeah, we'll definitely do a charity one so we can get some more fans. Hopefully it'll be ready soon. Well... The thing is, we have we're gonna have our end of season on Saturday, and then the draft starts over again, so he may be available. I think this might be where we go here, and then here's where we get to play an advantage here. Ensure you retain most of your fans this week. We play this one here. That way I can put the worst card on the world. We'll still keep the same number of fans or roughly. So. I think we're good at this point. I can't use any of these stupid cards because, well. I, I can't screw my neighbor on any of these cards because it's the week before a PLE. So I just can't. Okay. Well, let's grab one of these because we could always use that right now if we want. Is there anybody close to leveling? Seth's close to leveling up. Uh, 
art. I think this is I think this is the play. Unless there's anybody else that's Oh yeah, that or Ivy, which Ivy's not gonna have as much of an effect. This will have a good effect. So after tonight, he's gonna get a little XP out of this, and he'll be over the top. He'll get to that level 10 and we'll be able to sort him out here. So I think this is the card. It's not gonna be a great card. But it's gonna be a card. And then next week we just start like for media, we just load up these rivalries and go. Anything else we can pick up with those power cards, fix match, injury. We don't need any more injury rehabs. We already got five. I've never pushed anybody far enough that we're going to get injured. So I guess it's okay there. All right. All the world hates a coward. So I think we get to watch ours first here. So let's take a look. So right off the bat, we're going to get pretty ruthless foul at Headley. Growing rivalry. Rivalry I didn't want. Put it in a tables match because that's foul and special. I wanted to get a tag team rivalry set up, but it just didn't want to work. But yeah, I'd like to bring Matador back. I'd love... I do love how things sort of set up really well here. Things for season three. I am going to have to look at. One thing I am going to have to look at is the uh, the power cards that are available. By the time we're done here, we're only going to be a few short of uh, getting two Hall of Fame badges in one season. But I didn't get enough heal and face turn changes, which we're probably going to do a few more of those going forward here in season three. I would like to work on getting some pre-established teams put together like to see the tag team entrance of two people together. And from Chelsea, Michigan, like until Fallon threatened to leave because Fallon's been threatening to leave here twice now because I wouldn't give her any bonus money. If she comes up to me at Mania and says she's gone, well, that ain't going to hurt my feelings. Now that I hired two jobbers to do two extra promos, I'm sort of okay with all this. Well, yeah, looking at everything going on, like, this has been a hell of a day for me personally when it comes to recording here, because... We did that, uh, that review of the, the Vince McMahon documentary off the start. Got it into about 45 minutes. I am going to have to record a bit of an ending. I probably are going to do that off stream. So while the, the side cast is editing, I can, uh, I can do that recording and then get everything put up together in one piece here tomorrow. Uh, that documentary is a lot. I have to say that. Like, I didn't want to talk too many spoilers in there because, you know, a lot of people want to watch on their own, but I, I will say this. You definitely can tell when they came back to reshoot the show. I think it was originally supposed to be a five-part documentary. And I think the biggest idiot in the whole thing would have to be Bruce Pritchard.
Watch what happens to Bruce during that last episode. Alright, don't start glitching out now. Alright, everybody's just trying to hit each other. This is like real players playing right now. What the hell was that? Sorry, I had to at that point. What the hell was that? That was just perfect timing at all. Yeah, like, that was just a comedy of errors over about 10 seconds here. Well, that's how I use a table. You gotta actually set it up and put her through it. Jesus. I'm thinking if Fallon loses this match, she'll come up to me in between the shows and say she's done. Has she considered getting good? I completely agree with you, but... All right, this is... Oh, I thought that was going to be it. Oh, Ruthless just said thank you, and... All right, well, we're going to see what happens now. I want to see what kind of score we get on this. Increase the rivalry. Two and a half stars. I guess it's not bad. That's why I put the next match the way I did because I knew that bad. This next match is going to be absolute garbage. Argus, you did a good job. I appreciate you. All right, so this one, I hired Heath and Triton just to, you know, get through this next little bit. Let's see if the tag chaps could get one last time going together because, well, Dom has a job, has a uh, match with a cop coming up uh, on the next show. So let's go check it out. Because we got an ambulance match. We got a coffin match coming. Oh, we're doing all the matches on Saturday. We're using the W. We're using the Ted DiBiase card. Then the matches cost absolutely nothing. And the best part is half, our, half the roster will be injured. So none of them can take them. Because most of these are going to take a lot of stamina and we just don't have it right now. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California. Weighing in at 200 pounds. One half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Dirty. Like I said, I want to get through these so that I can possibly get a real tag team put together. 
And if I could do that, then we could have dual entrances. Just be cool to see how they come out together with the titles and all that. I'm trying to remember, uh, it was Stax and... Oh, Stax and McDougal, that's right, that who were the tag champs for the while there until Dom and uh, Baron won it finally. Dom threatened to leave if he did win his next match, and I said, if you're going to leave, leave. But yeah, I'm totally not worried about uh, what we're getting for Mania here. Everything seems to be lighting up rather well. I'd laugh so hard if we got a rivalry out of this match tonight. Jabber entrances all around now. Now, Heath, we had earlier, I think it was later in season one. So I do know that he can put on a decent match. I also know that he had the uh, the Goldberg entrance and the Dijak uh, finish on it, I do believe. Feast your eyes. I love how everybody gets a Dijak uh, pose on this for all the jobbers, right? And Triton I've never seen before. I just needed a face giant to cover tonight. Oh my. Dude, get some gear that fits. Is that the number one rule of a wrestler? Either that or it's just bad color. Oh no, that's that, that's gear that doesn't fit. <laughs> All right, let's see if Barrett and Dob can wipe the floor with them really quick. Go for the frog splash already? Nope. Drop kick. Nice splash. Now, bit. I want Baron to dominate most of this just because 
If he puts out the most energy, then I don't have to worry about stuff, right? Manhattan's get... I'm surprised Manhattan doesn't take the jacket off for the match. I was going to say, has Triton even been in the match yet? Oh my god, Triton's coming in. Speak and he shall receive. Triton's too afraid of a mouthful wall drum malfunction. <laughs> That's the problem I always have with my shirts. They're never long enough in the front. At least we're getting the right pairs matching off with each other here. Oh God. But no, as we get into Mania, we're going to try to get as many people out as we can. I forget if it's five matches or if it's six. Either way, we got ro we got level four rivalries up the wazoo available, so. Mysterio with the reversal. Oh, Mrs. Stomp. Dom's a little pissed. Oh, God. See, it would have been nice to see a tag there. Okay, Triton. I can't believe Dom fell for that. Tag it, Heath. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did he just belch? Oh, Triton. Could you imagine if uh, Triton and uh, Heath end up winning this match? Well, there's the hot tag to Baron Corbin. And I only say that because of his gear. Dominator. Oh, Dom got locked out. He was in the ring too long, so he couldn't break up the cover. That's hilarious. Ah, the good old happy Corbin taunt. Dom is seriously, why is he wondering a losing streak? I'm sure, yeah. Well, that was good old Corbin there. Oh. 
heart punch. Faced by Ivan Putsky. This fight's going a lot longer than I thought it would. Oh God. I think Gorman's had enough. Dom, you have to fight him. You can't run away from him. Oh God, here we go. Plus six, one, nine, connected. Let's go for the cover. Oh, there's a frog splash. That should do it. And he thought it like, this is why I usually never do regular matches. Atta boy, Dom. I appreciate you. Corbin's had enough for your foolishness. Oh God, shoulder block into that stomach. That could be an earthquake. And Heat's dead again on the apron. I guess the one consolation we have today is the fact that we only have three matches to watch because our main event, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to watch due to the run-in. Oh God, end of days. So he's not coming in? Okay. He just said, don't build up, but um, we did enough today. Here are your winners. The team of Dominic Mysterio and Baron Corbin. The most protected move in professional wrestling, absolutely. Just because it was non-title, they don't show the titles. That's fine. One and a half stars, that's more than fine. It's less than two and a half. I didn't expect much from this card. <laughs> we got a rivalry, what can I say? I got, I got away with things. Rivalry grew, that worked. Works for me. And now we have the women's champion in action against Penelope Perfect. We brought Penelope in for a little bit. Want to get her a match. Sort of as a thank you for being here. The champ needs some work. Got to get ready for that fatal four-way next week. So basically what I'm going to be doing next week, and we'll take a look together. All our level four rivalries, we're going to book into matches. And then we'll just see what we have left, and we're just going to piece something together with the rest of it. It's going to be one of our fun cards of the year. I'd like to get Scarlet in the tag title match for the women. Since uh, Trixie and uh, Ruthless now have the titles. Maybe we can get it off them. We'll have to see who's left on the roster.
And here comes Penelope, don't call me Mr. Perfect. See, if WWE was smart, they would have put her from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and everybody would have got the joke. All us wrestling fans would have got the joke, but... You notice she has the exact same entrance as Heath Manhattan? The exact same entrance. Could you imagine if Penelope wins this and they get a rivalry out of this? I would laugh my ass off. I don't expect much out of this match. She doesn't even take her sweater off. Nice German. Well, oh, go for a cover already. Nice Huracanana. Shot to the stomach. Nice kicks. Damn. Oh, that splash sucked right in the middle of the back. Just a two count. All right, Blair, you're almost done here. Let's go. This was supposed to be a statement match and a tune-up. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be a bit more of a, than a tune-up here. Under, over, miss the chop. And Blair just says, I'll take you over. Nice sweep the leg there. Big splash. Impressive. And down to the canvas. Pick up power bomb. At least Blair's smart enough to roll to the outside. Penelope is being absolutely perfect here so far. We might get that rivalry I didn't expect. Down with a thud. And a right hand. Penelope taking every every advantage she can right now. No way. Oh, I thought we were going to get another count out. Like last time. When Scarlet lost by count out on a, in a submission match.
Honestly, I thought if we rebrook that again, we might be able to get another rivalry. We just we don't have the time right now, and everything's gonna be reset soon. Now let's go over the rigs of Saturn on the outside. Okay. I see you, clothesline. I see you, miss clothesline. Spine on the pine by Penelope. Could this be enough? Just the two. Go for the doctor bomb again. Yep. Penelope's firing at all switches here. What are you doing, Penelope? Pulling it through. Just didn't get a chance to get that cover in. Well, I think Blair said enough is enough now. Knee to the stomach. Referee out of position, not even a one count. Oh, that's got to suck. Uh-oh. Missed the stomp. With the high knee to the face, that should, that should be it. And the champion, champion is successful on her way to WrestleMania. Like I said, that's one thing I'd like to improve in non-title matches. I'd love to see them get the graphic of the title anyway. Will Blair show it off right now? Wonder what kind of score we're going to get on this. Watch this be a level 2 rivalry already. Nope, just two star, okay. Well, we got the rivalry! <laughs> Never surprised me. McDougal with a charity promo, 4,500 fans. And our main event that we're not going to be able to watch because of the run-in. Dragunov asked for this match between himself... Carmel Hayes and Post Malone. And I figured, you know what? We need to get Rollins and uh, Dragunov up to a level four. So let's see if we can do it this way. One, two, ring the bell. Dragunov still wins. Ra the rivalry's level four. I'm fine, whatever. Oh. All right, well, uh, what happens when I list the wrestlers too much? Let's go see what everybody else did. All right, what's Raw got? Molly Holly and Meechid for an opener. This will probably be pretty good. Three star, okay. Kit Wilson, call it out. Kit Wilson's got a rivalry with Otis. Ah! Pretty much, Zodiac, pretty much. Not exactly happy with that finish. Danielle Wallace taking on China. This is no rivalry yet. Okay. China wins. So they got a level one rivalry. 
Semi Vortex. All right, you barely got yourself up. Braun Strowman and Champa versus Jimmy Uso, Robert Roode. Tomas or Tommaso and Strowman, okay, two and a half. 52-50. Now our main event of Foyto Four-Way. Everybody's got a rivalry with everybody else. This should be fun. One, two, that's it. Ring the bell. Four stars, everybody in a rivalry. Great. Yeah. WCW. Eddie Guerrero and Gargano versus Balor and Prince. One, two, ring that bell. Should be it. Guerrero and Gargano. Level two. These guys are getting three and four star matches out their ass. Excellent promo. Tim Burr versus Randy Orton. These guys have been going at it for a bit. Two, that's three. Ring the bell. Orton wins again. Level three. All right. Two more ring experience. I like that. Raquel and Dolan versus Bliss and Stratton. No titles. Ta tornado tag. Champions win in a three and a half. Wow. An okay promo. And for the WCW title, Drew McIntyre, Mr. Champ Champ. Take it on, Adrian Buck, one half of the tag champs. McIntyre retains. Still level three rivalry. But the all th three of the four titles for the men are right in that match. Now you know why that place is in the state that it's in. For ECW, let's see here. Sensational Sherry versus Indy Hartwell. I think that... Extreme Rules match, so they get an extra bonus. One, two, that's three. Bell. Three stars, okay. Vicky McLeod trying to get herself over, just failing miserably. Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey. This would be a fun one to watch. One, two, that's it. Ring the bell. Rousey wins again. I think that's a level four anyway. This I know is a level four. It's boring as hell that they keep doing that. Mid card. So we got Julius Creed Sheamus versus Jake the Snake and Honky Tonk Man. Could you imagine that tag team getting together? One, two, that's three. Bell. Creed and Sheamus, three star match. Newest AEW roster member with a good promo putting himself over. I love it. And our main event for the TV title, Briggs, Priest, Miz. Now, they always told me that having two heels and a face was a bad thing in one of these matchups. Miz wins the TV title in a three and a half star match. All right. Could be worse. And the two guys that didn't win the didn't win are now in a bigger feud always great all right let's check out the report cards poor finale two star versus one and a half damn it all right so that's a level four rivalry we got a level two a level three a level three we got rivalries all over the place good booking we always got good booking so this is a level four, that's a level one, level one, level one and a tag one for level two, okay. Oh, there's two level ones there, sorry. The rivalries were in place, but only one of them advanced. Interesting. WCW got good booking, three, level four, level three, level four. He's got the rivalries where he needs them. It's just, he's so far behind, it ain't going to matter. Level one, level four, level one, level two. All right. Let's go check out the final scores here. So we got 91 for score. We still kept 28,000 fans, which is pretty much where we expected. We're up to almost a quarter million dollars. Or three quarters of a million. We're gaining money hand over fist right now. 
Just the fans are just what we're losing right now. And they got 41. So we lost 20,000 fans compared to them. They don't have as much money, but we got a hell of a lot of fans. Uso and Root are a credible tag team. All right, yeah, we already knew that. 122 for score, 51,000 fans. Everybody banged up on fans here, so. What's ECW got? 42,000, so everybody gained on us. Just nobody has even close to as much money as we do. I'm gonna use that to make sure that we get somebody upgraded. This is the one I hate. So if we use that card, it's a card that basically lets you turn a part-timer into a full. That's how I got JC Jane on my roster. Unfortunately, getting that card means you have to take a guy off for a week. Well, we're in week 25 anyway, WrestleMania. So it really doesn't matter. But with that being said, because I was going to use it for Trent Shaw, to be honest. With that being said, because this game does not save at this point, let's get a preview of what we're going to be doing for WrestleMania this upcoming week. WrestleMania week 25. Ilya. Thanks for the match against Malone and Hayes. I knew it wouldn't be easy. I knew it'd be easy, but I didn't expect it that easy. Sometimes I amaze myself. And you're in my respect earlier when you gave me a chance to show Gunther and I could work as a tag team. So I got him right on top. I love it. Carmelo. The others behind me, nothing but losses. Is there somebody else in the roster you could match me up with for a change? Absolutely. I have no plans on having you there. All right, so at least I have one backstage brawl. We're all over that. So first thing I'm going to do, I'll do this anyway because we're going to do it regardless. Going to add the WrestleMania banner to everything, so that's what matters. So in other words, we're going to have to wait till after, midway through the second season is where we're going to be able to get the stadium. So, But yeah, we got five matches here on this card. We, we are going to have a fun show. We could almost buy this extra power card for the hell of it. We're going to use this, which is going to book everything for free. We're going to use this. I have no contracted stars to use this on, right? That would have been a great card to use for some of my free agents that had to rebook. So, so yeah, we'll definitely use this up against somebody here so we can get something upgraded i would have used it on argus but that's just gonna be well no use doing it here because the effect will take after the match is done i do believe but 30 xp will raise you three levels might even do it to blair before we wrap things up here but Well, we'll see how things go here, but that's going to be for our next show. Right now, I'm thinking too much about it. Let's bring it back to a chat screen. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here today. Uh, uh, if you're checking this out on the YouTube channel, for those on Twitch, hang around. We're going to send a raid off here in just a moment here after we're done wrapping things up here. Just a reminder for everybody that's watching this on YouTube, we do record these every Wednesday and Saturday after AEW dynamite and aw collision if there's something special going on i do a double booking during dynamites but uh yeah just stop by twitch.tv slash mike the ref to get all the details about that but with that being said we will see you all here next time and always remember be part of the solution don't be part of the problem and enjoy rest enjoy wrestling enjoy our wrestlemania coming up next here on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.